Hello, this is Athena Jezik, and today I'm going to be working on Karina again. And we're going to address the things with the lower back. Lately, I've had so many people come to me with lower back issues. So it seems like there's something going on uh, with low backs. And a lot of this has to be also worked with the sacral pull. But I'm going to show you what to do with the muscles. And I'm just, right now, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of feeling if there's any knots or any anything that might be restricting a muscle or anything like that. And there's, you want to find the bones. So there's the hip, the edge of the hip right there and, the, and there and the sacrum. Usually when there's back problems, especially in the low back, the sacrum I always find is out a little bit of alignment. And that needs to be put back into alignment, which helps a great deal. A lot of people will go to chiropractors for that kind of thing, but they don't usually hold quite as well as if you allow the body to move itself into it. And then if it has a ways to go after a 48 hour processing, it's great to go in and just have it helped a little bit further. One of the reasons you want to wait 48 hours is because there's a new neural net pathway in the brain that is going to be giving the muscles a different uh, muscle memory pattern to fall into. Things that are oftentimes done too quickly, the brain doesn't have a chance to catch up with it. And so it's going to just go back to the pattern that it knows. So that's just a little thing for you to think about when you are doing therapy or getting therapy. I'm going to be putting this lotion on. It's a kind of a lotion mixed oil from True Hemp Science. It's I like it very much. As I've mentioned before, it, it has a nice viscosity. It's a little bit of uh, oily and it's also a little bit uh, lotion-y, so it does uh, feel good. And like lotions usually soak in real fast, but the oil part keeps it on the skin longer and you can work the, the body better with some a better viscosity than what a lotions will give you. So just get a little more, because I'm gonna go up the back a little bit. So it's usually the lumbar part of the spine that is the problem, and then that will take the, uh, the sacrum out of alignment a little bit, as well as the hips. And when your hip is out too, if, unless it's the hip socket, but oftentimes the pain of the hip is uh, related to the uh, misalignment of the sacrum. Even It can even go into the hip socket, but there's other muscles and things to deal with when you start to do that. So I'm just finding, I just found the, um, you know, here's the spine along here. And then I'm just working the muscles, pull, kind of pulling them out from the spine to give them a little stretch. And this will soften up the muscles allowing the tension to give way a little bit, depending on how bad it is. And you can do a little bit of a vibration technique there. And you can go with it the same side, just using the thumbs or just use the fingers, starting up here and just vibrating down along the sides here. So that way you can get both sides from standing on just one side because this part of the back is easy to work from one side. Okay, so here's the top of the sacrum right here. You wanna kinda check the position of that. And that's just rubbing, taking the thumb and pushing it the muscle down, you can tell if it's out. And then another way to tell if this is out is to take the fingers and just kind of feel along here, find finding where that is, and then turning your hand along there. And you can tell, you can feel if the um, sacrum is 
side bent or a little out of alignment. That takes a little bit of work to find that and to feel that. But if you can find how that misalignment is, then you'll be better able to work to correct it. And then you can also go up the back, up the lumbar part of the back, just to keep that going. Now this is the lower part of the um, nervous system as well because you know the, the main nerve of the body runs inside of the vertebrae. So when you're having pain in that particular nerve cord, the central nervous cord, nervous system cord is coming down and then there's a little adjustment there because of a crookedness, that's going to also give some kind of pain that'll refer pain because all of the nerves that come out of the central nervous system that run down into the various parts. So you want to be aware of that as well, that sometimes it's just nerve pain. Usually that's pretty different pain than muscular pain. And of course your client is going to have to tell you what kind of pain it is. If it's sharp or shooting, that's usually a nerve more so than if it's just more of an achiness in an area. Although it can be a combination. So I'm just working my thumbs along here. I have my one thumb along here. Now if you've been reading the newsletters, you know I've been writing quite a bit about the different levels of the templates and the different frequencies that we have in our body. But the interesting thing is all of them they, they work together with each other, but they all start, the baseline is the central nervous system. It all comes back to the central nervous system. So it's very important to keep that nervous system aligned and in place so that not only is the body going to feel better, but even the mental body will be able to function better with that alignment. So that's just a little bit deeper understanding of the importance of the spinal cord and the spinal column. And of course that runs into the brain, so that's another thing. Getting it into the, the brain and neural pathways and, you know, it just goes on and on. But for those of you seeking to become really good at what you're doing, that kind of information will be something that you'll grow into once your hands are getting used to what they're feeling and can translate that. So we're just working that and then we're going to work the other side, same thing, the other hand, stretching. And then you can go around the vertebrae. Here's the sacrum, the edge of the sacrum. Just go around the vertebrae that's there, L5S1. Stimulate that a little bit with little circles. That's like the spine, the little spinous processes in between your fingers, working it. And just keep on. You can tell if there's anything out there, or any little subluxation. It's oftentimes when the muscles are softer and more pliable, when you kind of twist and you feel little pops, it's like you're putting that, that spine back into that little vertebrae back into, the, into place, providing there's no pain with it. And I think it's a good way to do it because it's a little more natural. I've had children get the uh, cranial work and that has relaxed them down so much that they'll get up and they'll do a twist and they'll feel their entire spine align. Now here's a little bit of a, now that we're a little deeper into the structure, here's where I'm feeling a little more of a muscular 
issue happening right here. So we want to unwind some of that's already gone. So that little knot is already gone. And that wasn't much work. Of course, Karina has gotten a lot of work, so her body is very tuned into feeling. Now there's the same type of thing right here. It's kind of at the edge of the, it's on the hip bone, uh, probably more of a detachment of the muscle. And so we'll just, yeah, there it's gone, that little tightness area. And even though that Karina gets a lot of work done, she's also carrying a lot of heavy equipment around and, you know, bending and twisting and all that kind of thing. So, you know, that is going to work the back a little bit and I can tell that when I now that I'm down deep enough the right side of her body is more developed probably because she's right-handed that happens in everybody so sometimes when it's too far developed and not so much in balance then you're gonna get a little bit of a problem with the weaker side so be sure if you can to try to watch that so that you don't go too dominant with the either left hand or right hand. And then you can begin to feel, just feel how that's going all together. Feel if you feel warmth or cold. You can tell a lot by the um, temperature. Sometimes it's a good way to tell where there's something going on. And just see if the fascia now, this is just waiting for fascia to unwind if there's any at that level. And it's also, I'm also using energy, and that's a technique to use the energy as well as uh, melding into the, into the tissue, the um, fascial structures, and letting that unwind. And there's a bit of unwinding that's happening. It unwinds easier when the muscles are more relaxed and more pliable. People that are always really tight and stiff, that uh, takes a longer time for the fascial structure to be able to begin to unwind because it's kind of cemented down. And these are just ways I'm explaining it, what, what I feel. There needs to be a whole new language for what you feel in your hands. But do know that the consciousness of every cell in your body is aware and it knows exactly what it needs to do. And uh, hands that are very well trained are going to be able to communicate with that at some level and be able to follow what the body needs to help. And of course, you yourself, if you have these issues, you'll be able to know, you know, you'll be guided, your body will tell you too what you need, what, what kind of therapy might be best for you. It seems like this is a whole new area of body working to where we're getting deeper into these more energetic and subtle structures. And here I'm just going to be, I'm just brushing up to make sure that all the muscles feel soft, even out a little farther to the hip.
that feels pretty good. You can take that one finger and just kind of glide down the spine and feel what the spine is doing. You don't want to go pressure, a lot of pressure on the spine, but just feel if those little bones are standing on top of each other the way they should be. And it all feels real good. So there you have some new ideas for massaging out the lower back. And let me tell you, there's a lot of low back issues that are happening. So there is much more technique that needs to be known. However, this is a good start. This will give them some relief um, to what's happening because the muscles will be able to relax. Thank you so much for viewing. Please give us a like, uh, share this video, and, and subscribe to the, to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. I want to invite you to explore my course, The Foundations of Subtle Alignment. It is going to take you beyond the work of massage therapy. It will take you into the world of the subtle anatomy. In this course, you will learn about the subtle anatomy and a protocol for assessing and aligning the subtle structures. Misalignment of the subtle structures is often the root cause of chronic pain, injuries, and chronically high levels of stress hormones. These techniques offer profound benefit whether you are working on people with complex issues or not.